Good morning everyone. Uh, kami po ang grupo na represent ng Malolos Constitution. Yan, presented by the group. So, Malolos Constitution. Bago po natin talakayin yung Malolos Constitution, alamin po muna natin kung ano yung Constitution. So, what is constu- Constitution? Constitution is the body of doctrines and practice that form the fundamental organizing principle of political state. So, constitution po siya yung, siya yung, po, yung constitution po yung pinaka-fundamental ng uh, isang state na state, like, like halimbawa ng Philippines. May may sarili po tayong constitution. Which is yung constitution na yun, uh, yung tawag po dun is law na pinaka-fundamental ng lahat. Yung, kumbaga, siya yung pinaka-sinusunod ng Sabi nga dito, Constitution is described as the fundamental law of our state. A constitution is a body of rules governing the affairs of an organized state. Every state has a constitution at least four months. It operates its important constitution according to some fundamental body. And the concept of constitution is the idea of a higher law that takes So, sabi nga dito, uh, constitution is the idea of a higher law. So, yung constitution po, uh, isa po siyang higher law na, na dapat hindi na babago. And uh, ano po kasi siya, con- contradict siya sa uh, tao at sa gobyerno. Uh, kung bagay yung constitution yung parang magiging uh, batayan, parang magiging maayos yung isang state. Sabi nga dito, higher law that is over all, over all other law. So, siya yung law na hindi nababago. For example, may uh, may batas na isasagawa. Like, ano, death penalty. May ipinapatupad na batas na ginagawa na death penalty. Pero, sa constitution natin, in the first place, may nakalagay na, na dapat walang, walang death penalty. So, yung magagawang batas na death penalty, ah, uh, magiging walang bisa siya kasi in, sa kasi nakalagay sa constitution natin na dapat walang ano death penalty and ayun dapat yung sinusunod na lahat yung constitution so yun po yung constitution so Emilio Aguinaldo naging pangulo siya noong January 23 1899 at nagtapos ang kanyang termino noong March 23, 1901. Ipinanganak siya sa Kawit-Kabite noong Marso 22, 1862. Siya ay kapitong anak sa walong magkakapatid ng alkalde na si Don Cados at Doña Trinidad Fimi. Nag-aaral sa Kolehiyo di San Juan di Litran. Next. Presidency of the Revolutionary Government of the Philippines. Emilio Aguinaldo wife, family, President of the Revolutionary Government of the Philippines in Captain General N. Commander in Chief of its Army. Know all Filipino citizens that the Assembly of Representatives of the Nations, by virtue of its sovereign power, has decreed and have sanctioned the political constitution of the state. So, si Emilio Aguinaldo ay isang Pilipinong general at politiko at pinuno ng kalayaan. Siya ay naging leader ng revolusyon laban sa Espanya at Estados Unidos. Isa siyang bayaning nakibaka para sa kasarinlan ng Pilipinas at pinamunuan niya ang isang pag-aalsa laban sa Espanya noong 1896. Ipinahayag niya ang kalayaan ng Pilipinas at umupo bilang unang pangulo ng Pilipinas noong Hunyo 
1899 next so malolos constitution the only constitu constitution ever pre pre framed by Filipinos is what is known as the Malolos Constitution, taking its name from the from the capital of the Filipino Revolution government. This constitu constitution, to be understood, should be viewed in rel relation to its background. Centuries of Spanish rule over the Philippines, insurrection first against the authority of Spain and her bad government, and later against the assumption of sovereignty by United States, and he got gradually increased sense of nationality, which nourished in the blood of martyrdom, grew in a common and an ardent desire for independence. So, ano nga ba yung, ano, yung Malolos Constitution? Ang Malolos Constitution ay tinatawag din siyang Political Constitution of 1899. Ito ang pinagsama-samang pondasyon ng mga batas para sa unang republika ng Pilipinas pagkatapos ng pananakop ng Espanyol at Amerikano. At isinulat naman ito ni na Felipe Calderon I. Roca at ni Felipe, Felipe Buencamino matapos ang mahaba-habang debate noong 1898 na naisatupad naman ng January 21, slide ano na next next a bit then the first Philippine Republic that ito na nakasulit the Philippine Republic in Spanish, Republica de Filipina, commonly known by historians as the First Philippine Republic or the Malolos Republic. Next. The Malolos Constitution was drafted soon after the defeat of the Spanish Empire because the Filipino revolutionaries misunderstood U.S. military resistance as an alliance and not as an action of American imperialism. It was formally established with Emilio Aguinaldo on January 23, 1899 in Malolos, Bulacan. It endured until April 1, 1901. Dito nga pa yung naging kaalyada ng Pilipinas ang Estados Unidos na naging sanay ng pagkapanalo ng Pilipinas laban sa mga Espanyol. Ngunit nang naging malinaw sa mga Pilipino na ang angari ng mga Amerikano ay mawala mga Pilipinas. Emilio Aquinaldo was angered when the U.S. decided to keep control over the Philippines. He was not happy that the U.S. decided to maintain possession of the Philippines. Kaya nga agad-agaram pinuho at tinatag ang Philippine Republic upang pagtibayin ang kalayaan ng Pilipinas. And because the U.S. still want to maintain possession over the Philippines, Dito na nga tumaas ang tensyon ng mga Pilipino laban sa mga Amerikano. Hanggang sa sumiklab ang digma ang Pilipino-Amerikano noong February 4, 1899. Nang mauwan ng mga Amerikano ang malolos, sumikas si Aguinaldo patungo sa Hilagang Luzon. Binuwag niya ang sandatang lakas at tumas ay ipaglaban ng mga gerilya. Yung mga gerilya po is yung mga armadong civilian o mga okbong panlupa. Natakip si Aguinaldo sa palana ni Sabela noong March 23, 1901, ang mga Amerikanong sundalo na pinamunuan ni General Frederick Panslo. Noong April 1, 1901 naman ay tuluyang nagwakas ang unang republika. 
the war was officially the war between Filipino and the Americano was officially declared by the American government on July 2, 1902 with a victory for United States. Ngunit matapos ang pagbagsak ng Republika, marami pa rin ang naipaglaban para sa alayaan. Next. Who wrote the Philippine Malolos Constitution? It was written by Felipe Y. Roca and Felipe Buen Camino as an alternative to a pair of proposal to the Malolos Congress by Apolinario Mabini and Pedro Paterno after lengthy debate in the latter part of 1898. It was promulgated on 21 January 1899. A committee was created task to drop a constitution. It was led by Felipe G. Calderon. Calderon set aside the draft of presented by Mabine and Paterno with the advice of Cayetano Arellano. Calderon drew his draft. The Malolos constitution was Benchmark from the Constitution of Mexico, Belgium, Guatemala, Costa Rica, Brazil, and France. Next. On October 8, 1898, Felipe G. Calderon presented a draft of the Constitution on October 21, printed copies of the said draft where made deliberation started on October 25. Who is Felipe Siojo Buen Camino Senior? Siya ay isang abogado pinuno ng death. Imagsikang politiko, gabinete noong unang republika ng Pilipinas at isa sa mga Nagtatag ng independent. Isa siya sa may pakana sa pagpatay kay General Luna. Tapos si... Si Felipe Gonzalez Y. Roca is also known Felipe Calderon. He is a writer, revolutionary leader, lawyer, political, a politician and intellectual and the father of the Malolos. na lang. Next slide daw, City na. Where did the Malolos Congress take place? The Malolos Congress, also known as the Revolution, Revo Revolutionary Congress. The Revolutionary Congress was opened on September 15, 1898 at Barsoen Church in Malolos, Bulacan. President Emilio Aguinaldo presided the opening session of the Assembly. May mga, may mga importante achievements ang Malolos Congress. Tulad ng Declaration of Philippine Independence held at Kawit-Kavite on June 12, 1898. 
the passage of law that allowed the Philippines to borrow 20 million from banks for government expenses. Pangatlo, establishment of the Universidad Literatura de Filipinas and other schools. Four, draft, drafting of the Universidad Drafting of the Philippine Constitution, Panglima declaring war against the United States on June 12, 1899. Next slide. Proclamation of Panana. Pineda. Proclamation of Philippine Independence. In addition, of the Americans get victors at, at the Battle in Manila Bay, former first President Emilio Aguinaldo decided to return to the Philippines, issued the Philippine Declaration of Independence on June 12, 1898, to proclaim the sovereignty and independence of Philippines from the colonial rule of the Spanish Empire, and established successive revolutionary Philippine governments on June 18 and 23 of that year. Uh, so, ibig sabihin po, ah, no pagkapanalo po ng mga Amerikano sa labanan sa Manila Bay, si dating unang Pangulong Emilio Aguinaldo ay ah, nagpa siya bumalik sa Pilipinas para official na deklara ang deklarasyon ng kalayaan ng Pilipinas noong Hunyo 1891 upang ipahayag ang soberanya at kalayaan ng Pilipinas mula sa kolonyal na pamumuno ng Emperyong Espanyol. At kasunod po nito ay nagtatag ng sunod-sunod na revolusyonaryong pamahalaan ng Pilipinas noong Hunyo 18-23 sa taon na iyon. Next slide, please. Moreover, in December, sovereignty over the Philippines was transfer transferred from Spain to the United States in 1898 in the Treaty of Paris, making the United States formally the Philippines colonial power. Okay. Ibig sabihin po, ah, noong December, December, ang soberanya sa Pilipinas ay inilipat mula sa Espanya patungo sa Estados Unidos. Noong 1898 sa Treaty of Paris, na kung saan naging formal na kolonyal ang kapanyarihan ng Pilipinas, ang Estados Unidos. Kaya naman, dahil dito sa paglipat ng soberanya, ay opisyal na naging malaya ang Pilipinas mula sa kumuno ng mga Espanyol. The Malolos Constitution, establishing the first Philippine Republic, was proclaimed the following month. Ang saligang batas ng Malolos po ay nagtatag ng unang republika ng Pilipinas Noong Enero 23, 1899, at ipinulok ma din ito sa sumunod na buwan. The Philippine-American War began in February 1899, eventually resulting in an American victory. After the Philippine-American War, the Philippines began an uh, unincorporated the territory of the United States and U.S. Commonwealth until 1946, uh, which means that the Philippines is under of the United States Congress that has determined the only selected parts of the United States Constitution apply. The Philippine Republic is considered by Filipino historians to be the first proper constitutional republic in Asia. Although there were several Asian republics predating the first Philippine Republic, like the Mahajan, Mahajanapas of Asia and India, the Lanpang Republic, the Republic of Formosa, or the Republic of Edo. Aguinaldo himself, himself 
had the, the number of uh, governments prior to Malolos, like those established at Tayeros and Biaxabato, which both styled themselves Republica de Filipina, Republic of the Philippines. Uh, because the first republic proved that Filipinos were capable of self-rule and deserved their long for freedom after more than 300, 300 years of colonial bondage. The leaders of revolution declared that the country's sovereign state and proclaimed the first republic of the Philippines to be the first constitutional democracy in Asia. Next. Next slide. Next slide. So what is the purpose of Malolos Constitution? The Constitution specifically provided for safeguards against abuses and enumerated the national and individual rights not only on the Filipinos but also the other way. The legislative power were exercised by the Assembly of Representatives composed of delegates elected according to law. Sabi nga po dito is physically provided for safeguards against abuses and it's enumerated our national and individual rights. Na ito daw ay particular na naglaan para sa mga paninggalan laban sa mga mga abuso. At ito ay naging saad ng ating pambansa at individual na mga karakatan. Kaya for us, it is important that we have a knowledge about in this constitution because it's very helpful to each Filipinos because this constitution is for us it's all about our rights. This Malolos Constitution emphasizes on the protection and propagation of the rights of citizens. Next slide, para kay MJ Gutierrez. How long did the Malolos Constitution last? The Philippines has had a total of six constitutions since the proclamation of independence on June 12, 1898. In 1899, the Malolos Constitution, the first Philippines Constitution, and the first Republican Constitution in Asia was drafted and adopted by the first Philippines Republic, which lasted from 1899 to 1901. Yung main, main point po niyan ng Malolos Constitution ay particular na nagalaan ng mga pananggalang laban sa mga pang-aabuso at binanggit ang pabansa at individual na, na mga karapatan, hindi lamang ng mga Pilipino at ng mga dayuhan. Ang mga kapangyarihang pambatas ay ginagamit ng asemblea ng mga kinatawan ng binubuo ng mga delegado na inahal, hinalal ayon sa batas ayun lam ayun lamang po